What's up guys, I'm Dinor25 and today I'm here on World War II Zombies to show you a new easter egg discovery on Bodega and USS Mount Olympus that allows you to obtain the Sword of Barbarossa just like you can on Altar of Blood. Huge shout out to the guys who figured out how to do this and let us know. Big thanks to Geeves1988, Wasted Steak, Zypher7767, and JSnake4008 for helping the community with this awesome find. So there are seven runes on Bodega and seven runes on USS Mount Olympus that you can only see and donate to if you've completed the full Tortured Path Easter Egg and gotten the cutscene and you need to donate seven sets of jolts or $17.50 to each. The first rune on Bodega is here behind this rack. So you'll just donate your jolts right in front of it and it'll absorb them. The next rune is right up this staircase, right outside of the Quick Revive house in the rubble. And following this guide, it should be pretty easy to find and see all of the runes, and getting your hands on the sword should be pretty easy. It just costs a lot of points, it costs 12,250 jolts total in order to get the sword. The next one is in this box right here, and you just donate your jolts right in front of it you'll see that they all start glowing if you've done it correctly. So that and it absorbing the jolts is a really good sign that you're doing it correctly. And the next one is right there by those barrels. Then you're gonna turn left and go up here by the cow right past him. There's a little patch of grass where the rune will be inside. And then after you donate to this one, you'll wanna turn left and go into this building. The next one is over here in this building with the armor machine right next to it, right on the ground in the rubble. And the final one is over in the windmill area where the pack-a-punch machine is, and it is inside of a bucket, sort of where you would place the whistling arm on chapter one. Then you'll run right outside the windmill over by the two trucks and there'll be a big glowing white circle. It's a little faint so it's a little hard to see sometimes but you just let yourself die by a zombie or kill yourself inside of the circle. And then uh, once you would go down it, the game auto revives you and it will give you the sword of Barbarossa. And it's so cool that these four guys were able to find this. Serious shout outs to them for contacting my friend RD and telling them that they discovered how to do this. So moving over to USS, the first rune on this map is right here inside of the life jacket over by Quick Revive. The second one is over by these boxes that is near where you could get one of the battery spawns on the chapter two Easter egg. The third one I'm showing is right down here by this beam by the boat, very close to the box location. And then right on the other side of the lower deck, there will be a pile of ropes and the rune will be inside. Now you run in doors on the lower deck and on the right corner of the melee perk room, entering from the lower deck, outside will be a bucket and mop and you just donate your jolts in front of that it's right inside of it inside this drawer here which you can actually hop up and see cool enough will be the sixth rune then you turn around and walk down to the pack-a-punch machine and to the right of it there will be a rune right there Then you head on over back up to the top deck where spawn is. Right past the stuff in the middle, there will be a white circle once again, just like on Bodega. And you will need to down yourself or kill yourself inside of the circle. It'll auto revive you and once more, you will get the Sword of Barbarossa. So just to round it off, I'm also going to cover Altar. So on Altar, you don't find runes. You donate your jolts to these four pads on each section of the map. So there's one right where you spawn, to the left, in the back by double tap, and on the right from spawn where the melee perk is. Then you can go to the middle and donate to the three bowls. You don't have to do any of the runes or any of these pads or bowls in any order. You just have to do them all. 
and then you just down yourself or let a zombie down you and you'll have the sword of barbarossa so once again huge thanks to the guys Gibbs, wasted steak zypher and j snake for letting my friend Artie know that there was a new way found to get the sword of barbarossa on uss and bodega and as you can see in the background, this is just one of the new strategies I came up with that's really fast and is only made possible with the Sword of Barbarossa. I hope that you guys find this as cool as I do, and if you liked this tutorial, feel free to like and subscribe. Have a lovely day, and thank you so much for watching.